Hey folks, Post here, welcome back to another Poem Master video, and today, um, we're gonna get our daily discounts in, and then, and then we'll go over some more egg stuff, right? So, uh, let's do one on Steven's banner real quick, and that's nothing, well, it's not nothing, but nothing interesting. And, let's get our daily free 10 absolute potato summon in as well, and our Berg summon, which we really desperately kind of sort of need that last copy of Berg. And I got a Will instead. Um, how many scout points am I at for Will's banner? Oh, no, we're or, or not Will's banner. <laughs> Berg's banner. I'm not even close. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and, and, and talk about eggs, right? So, um, as you can see, I have a bunch of egg Pokemon <laughs> hatched already. And, and basically, how the egg system works is... Right, you got incubators that you could use. You could just, uh, I think you start out with like one, and then you can use page gems for one, and then you can use another pass for another incubator. Which this incubator actually auto incubates. So like, even if you're not around um, to incubate your eggs, you you know set up your eggs beforehand. Which ones to auto incubate? So it'll auto incubate for you, so you don't have to you know get up, you know, in two in the morning to you know start incubating your eggs, right? And then your egg box holds a certain amount of eggs, and then you could. Again, spend pay gems to get more slots. Um, so as all well. as for uh, your daycare, there's it, here's where they uh, hold your, um, your your Pokemon egg Pokemon after they hatch. Uh, there's a limit of a hundred of 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 these slots, right? Um, you get dupes and all that stuff. Uh, however, you're only allowed to become a sync pair with um, with one of these Pokemon um, uh, of the same species, right? Uh, so there's that to keep in mind as, as well, right? Um, there are each for each um, Pokemon species. There's three different types of them. Um, there's a strike version. There's striker version, support version, and attack version. And each one of them have different passives. But it's not like you know. It's it's not a. It's not extremely variable. It's like there's a total of three passives at max that your unit could get, and then it's a complete chance if you get. Uh, you know, one of those three passives, or two of those three passives, or all three passives, right? Um, as you can see, I have a Striker Rattata with all three passives. Um, steadfast, or stead Headstrong, Steadfast 3, and then Power Reserve 2, and then you could also get a Rattata with, uh, you know, only two of those passives. Uh, it takes away the, you know, the one at the bottom, right? Um, and then uh, all the rates are the same, so, like, the rates to get a three passive Rattata is the same as to get a one's. Uh, uh, you know, one passive Rattata in the same, you know, star to egg, right? So there's three star, uh, three different stars of eggs. They don't really, you know, they, they don't affect the stars of your egg Pokemon. Um, they, the only thing that they affect is the rates um, in these eggs, right? Um, obviously, the one star eggs have lower chances to get certain Pokemon than, than the, you know, three star eggs, right? Um, right now, the lowest chance Pokemon is Tauros. Everyone else is equal, but Tauros is the rare one um, in, in that sense. And and obviously lower chances in 1-star eggs, higher chances in 3-star eggs, and also you get Shinies from these as well. The only Shiny available at the moment, again, is also Tauros. Um, so it's a you know, much higher chance you get a Shiny in 3-star eggs. And that goes up to, at the moment in this pool, it should be 1.3%. Or, or no 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 uh, that's one point three percent is to get a Tauros uh, at all in, in a uh, three star egg and a shiny Tauros is oh one point one seven four percent so around a one percent rate right so anyways let's get to how to get these eggs right so again like I mentioned before three different um, types of eggs one star two star three star um, one star again with lower rates takes six hours to incubate and then three stars take twelve hours to incubate two stars take eight hours um, to incubate. Um, in terms of which one is more worth it, the chances of getting a shiny Tauros is just higher in the three-star eggs. Even though, you know, in the time of one three-star egg, you could hatch two one-star eggs. But you know, the difference, at least in the eggs that we have right now, it's just better to hatch uh, three stars over two stars and one stars. However, two stars and one stars have a much higher rate of dropping um, eggs in comparison to three stars, right? So we'll go over the rate. So there's mainly three methods of obtaining um these uh these eggs one is being super courses which again are limited per day there's super courses and literally any other single player course that's not ultra hard difficulty apparently please 
Um, for some reason, they didn't have it in, in Ultra Hard. Maybe because they don't want us to like farm other stuff and try to farm for eggs at the same time. I don't know. Um, so, for example, these courses have a 5% chance to drop, uh, you know, a 1-star or 2-star egg, right? And I, I would assume this is some visualization of, of, of the percentages in you know, comparison to 1 and 2-star eggs, right? Um, so, and, 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 and here's another reason why I probably wouldn't recommend going for... One star eggs over over uh, three star eggs, right? Um, because one star eggs and two two star eggs are in the same pool, so like when you're trying to farm for one star eggs, uh, you could also get a chance to get two star eggs, which are not that great, <laughs> right? And also, um, you know, once you have like eggs in your egg box, you can't really like delete them or whatever, throw them away. Um, so there's that as well. Um, so yeah, uh, any difficulty should be fine. But if you do want to farm. Uh, one or two star eggs uh, again at a five percent rate it's really easy if you just go to like a normal course um, and just you know, do it over and over again because normal course you go in there like you use a striker that has an AOE move just one shots the whole stage and then that's a very quick and easy clear right so that's 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 probably how you want to farm one or two star eggs if you're trying to go for that um, if you want better rates for shinies and you know want to go for three stars uh, there are other ways to go for that right um, all the super courses per day, um, and, and we do have, what, uh, 12 super course stages per day, right, have a ch higher chance to drop 3-star eggs, right? So, um, in, in the highest difficulty, super hard, um, stage of the super courses, you have a 24% chance to drop, um, a 3-star egg. So it's a low. 1 in 4%, or, or 1 in 4 chance to drop, uh, a 3-star egg, and then, um, in the very hard difficulty, it's a 21% chance, which is still pretty good. And then in hard difficulty, uh, you get a 18% chance. And in normal difficulty, you still get a decent like 15% chance. Um, obviously, you can't re replay these stages uh, without a replay ticket, right? Which you probably don't want to spend <laughs> on, on farming for eggs, because unfortunately, a lot of the eggs aren't that great. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's one way you could farm uh, for, for these uh, eggs and stuff um, again you know you, like you should do these anyways even if you're not looking for eggs because y you need to get the daily call over so do pay attention like if you're like um, egg box is full like maybe hold off on doing these sync orbs a bit until or not sync orbs these super courses a bit until like all, you know you have room in your egg box to uh, you know um, add more eggs right um, obviously, if you know it's almost reset, the course is almost gone. Then just go ahead and do it, All right? Um, so there's that. And the other way to to farm for three star eggs, the unlimited way, with a very very abysmal rate, <laughs> is uh, co-op. Right? You could do I think EX uh, EX co-op has a like one percent chance to drop the the three star eggs like all co-ops have a one percent chance to drop three star eggs so if you're trying to farm gear at the same time then sure you can go ahead and do ex co-op right and if you're just doing your daily battle villa co-op uh that you do like every day anyways right um you could uh you could go ahead and and, and, and do that as well as also one percent chance um and also the other way and the best way is actually just to do main story co-op just because main story co-op is just so much easier and quicker and you could you get you could do like um solo um co-op and then solo co-op obviously is very very fast because you could speed it up right um personally my favorite um to do is just do like brock interlude one and normal because the difficulty does, does uh, on these co-op stages does not influence the drop chances of these eggs right so you see normal is one percent and like very hard is still uh one percent as well right 1% on, on any of these difficulties, so obviously you want to do normal. There's no point doing very hard. Like, the gears that drop, it's 1-star gear. gear. one our gears are pretty pointless um, in, in this game, so, like, there's nothing to worry about. If you just want to get, um, you know, uh, eggs as fast as possible, just do, like, uh, things to drop. Personally, my, uh, my suggestion for, like, any teams for farming, this is just, you know, a bunch of AoE units, right? AoE strikers that do good damage. Uh, so like Plumeria, Charizard, Cynthia, you know, Garchomp, some free-to-play units, Price, Dugong with Icy Wind, 
Um, a little in uh, Raichu with Discharge, right? Just any like AoE units that do good damage and plus some like fighting units in the back um, that could switch in during Unity or whatever or, or they could just come in and do good damage. Or like, again, if you don't have like that many great AoE units, just, just you know, throw in like a fighting type and then... Uh, yeah, just have it set to auto. Three times speed should be really, really quick. Um, so, anyways, let's, let's do this. Uh, it's earthquake, sludge wave, that just takes out those two straight up. Heat wave takes out the that line. And then three moves over here should finish Tarantar off. Or not, or not, or not, apparently. Um, and they're using the trainer moves for some reason. Not that it matters. <laughs> okay, we were one hit away from finishing Tarantar off in, in that one turn. Um, but, yeah. Basically, again, like I mentioned before, very, very quick. Um, obviously you have to be around for it. You could put it on auto, but, uh, yeah, it, like, it, it's, it's, it's really, really fast that, like, you can't really, you could kind of sort of multitask on it, but, like, you kind of have to focus on just because, like, the, again, these battles are just so quick, right? You just have to keep on coming back and, um, you know, uh, going back in and finding it. It doesn't have battle again, which is kind of lame, uh, but again, it's not, like, that big of a deal, right? Um... So there's that, and anyways, uh, now that I'm personally out of um, Poke Eggs, let's 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 go let's go uh, let's go try some of these super courses out. Like from the co-op stories, uh, like so far in like four hours, I got like two eggs so far, um, three star eggs, right? Uh, from these super courses, I've just gotten just so much you know better in terms of uh, drops, right? Um, because, well, it, but it makes sense. The super courses are, are supposed to have a uh, much higher drop rate or, uh, and stuff, right? So, also, do not do not ask what that team was. <laughs> the Rampardos, Charizard, and whatever the heck the other thing was. And my thing just dropped. One second. Um, okay, I'll, I'll tell you guys why. Like, I was I was doing like Balvilla yesterday because I forgot to do Balvilla this season, and then like I just remembered like before reset that I should probably do Balvilla because it ends in like um three days or something and then i i just went ahead and did it and just like click because i like I, again i was i was out of time so i just had to like uh go ahead and, and click optimize and then for some reason i was against i think stage 10 or something and then it just gave me like rampardos and charizard on the same I, I i'm not worrying about we could, like i could probably clear it today or whatever but <laughs> don't worry about that but that was that was that was the explanation of that team anyways I also stalled out the time of this disconnection <laughs> with that random story about the uh, co-op. Uh, let's speed this up a bit. Alright. Put that in. Ouch. Crit, general acrobatics, liquidation. Ouch. Alright, let's do that. Ouch again. Straight out another one. Not that it matters. Oh, uh, you know what? It might slightly matter. Who knows? Ba, 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 ba. Ouch. Oh, there goes this one. It's unfortunate. Anyways, let's finish this off real quick. Um, I, I, I've been rid of my... It's a... It's a... <laughs> Alright, not that it matters. Obviously, we don't need like an optimal grid to be the uh, super course, but uh, we should be done, and hopefully, we could get a egg drop over here. That'd be pretty nice. Looks like the odds Please. were in our favor. Because we need like six a day. Ah! Rip. Oh, oh. That's, that's not good. <laughs> right? Six a day, there's 12 hours. Um, for me, you know, there's three incubators um, that I could, you know, use, so. Yeah, I at least need to get like three so I could start the <laughs> incubation, right? So I don't like to waste time here. Alright, come on. Alright, should we sync move up after that? Incubation, boom. And. There's a slot, maybe, hopefully. Oh, did that? Did not it really survive that? <laughs> oh, that's a mega lane. Oh. Dark Paul Sora. What's our incoming game? Anyways, that aside, come on, can we get a drop? 
Come on, game. It's for video, please. Ah, oh, damn. Um, instead of just keep on going down, let me actually go go ahead and, and try out the uh, the other ones with the higher drop rates. Damn, this is not good. Like, I got like three yesterday from like, I think four or five super course tries. And then today we're just getting destroyed here. <laughs> just getting like nothing. Anyways. Ouch. Alright. Should work. Why did I click waterfall? I don't know. <laughs> that was a mistake. Anyways, that doesn't matter. And. Mega Sharpedo. Liquidation. Do that again. Just make sure the rain's still up. We'll learn the next uh, liquidations around. There's that. And. Cool. Come on, game. Come on. Let's let's not let's let's not let's not do this on camera, please. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. We got one. We got one finally. Um, and again, these are all you guaranteed three stars, right? Um, well, let's just go through them all. I have what eight stages or something. What type are they weak to? Dark. Okay. Oh, I mean, I guess could use Houndoom, but that's eh, too lazy to swap. <laughs> let's just go with this. Anyways, um, I saw quite a de you know decent amount of people already pulling out uh, shiny Taurus. Uh. Unfortunately, Taurus is kind of potato. <laughs> uh, but hey, it's the only shiny, so I mean that's a, like I mean mo most of these are potato. But like this, like Taurus is like potato of potatoes, um, unfortunately. But uh, again, you know, the egg Pokemon they never were. I don't think intended to be like good, like uh, in terms of you know um, meta wise or whatever. It's just here to look cool and 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 sort of like a collection thing, I guess, for the most part. Alright, let's get that last liquidation in. There we go. There we go. Looks like the odds were in our favor. Alright. And moving on last two stages over here, I think. Alright. This stage should be relatively quicker to complete. I'd imagine. Okay, let's get that in. Do we really need a second one? Uh, uh well, we should have went for a second one instead of accidentally playing Waterfall again. Um, alright. I don't even, what, I, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, you know what, I don't, I don't even think, I don't think we need Sink Move. We could just, uh, finish this off with the liquidation hits. That's quicker, right? Because animation, all that. And there we go. Come on, game. Can we get another one? So what, 10 or 15 percent or something? All right, we're down to the uh, lowest odds in in the super courses, which are still like, you know, so much higher odds than what we get from from the co-op stuff, right? But again, the co-op's relatively fast. It's like not that big of a deal. Um, I miss grinding in masters. <laughs> I can't believe I'm I'm saying this, but I but I kind of miss it a bit. I kind of miss it a bit because like. Like, ever since they took away, like, the Syncorp chances, I just haven't been really doing much in-game. Um, other than, you know, just my daily stuff or whatever. You know, well, the Legendary Arena was fun, definitely. Um, you know, I did that one even though there wasn't much rewards, just for fun. And, and, you know, fun is always worth it. Uh, but, uh, hey, we're back to grinding again. <laughs> and I'll, 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 hopefully I'll, I'll grind all these out before the, uh, stamina system kicks in. And, uh, although the stamina system doesn't really, um, limit, as they mentioned, right, they, they're not limiting co-op battles, so stamina system won't really affect, uh, Pokemon eggs, so, hey, once the stamina system comes in, at least there's something else that we can still grind, right? So, there's that. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, that wasn't one-shot, come on. Did we not crit or something? I didn't notice. Anyways, slow predation, everyone. It feels so weird not up three moves at the same time. <laughs> or we're even, you know, close to sinking, whatever. Oh, there goes that, and voila. 
Alright. Looks like the odds were in our favor. Uh that was the last one, right? One out of eight? Damn. Oh no, there's there's one more left. There's still hope. There's the uh what twelve percent or whatever? Oh fifty percent. There's a, there's the last fifteen percent chance of of getting another one. Um it'll be really, really nice if we get one right here. It's like what, two eight on my time, right? I, I, I don't want to uh, drag this on too long. It'd be very, um, not good for us. <laughs> Alright. And let's finish this off. I woke up super late today. I woke up like at like 8 p.m. or something. Because <laughs> I might have posted one too many videos last night. But, uh, anyways. Well, there we go. Um, we got one, one out of. <laughs> One out of eight. Uh, which isn't the worst. At least I got one. But it uh, could have been much better. Could have been much better. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, and incubate that, I guess. And uh, yeah. Um, oh, also one more thing. You have to like do three battles for it to hatch as well. Um, so you have to do like the battles and the time. Uh, folks are asking if you can shorten these. Uh, you actually can't. Um, you know, the timing is what it is. At least at, you know, for the moment being, right? In the future, there could be some stuff that they could make these uh you know hatch quicker or whatever but at the moment there really isn't so anyways all that's me with this one hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comments down below like and enjoy this video so we're channel for some more pro masters content and i'll see you guys in the next one